No way. No way. Dude, this isn't even his final form yet. What is going on? Magical dragons and a literal hound from hell. These are the Titanios that will be fighting by your side in Land of Empires if you know what you need to level them up and mutate them into their powerful late game stages. What's going on, guys? Cheers. Today, we're jumping back into Land of Empires to take a closer look at one of the features that I found most exciting back when I first played this game a few weeks ago. If you missed that video, go ahead and check it out because this video is going to make a lot more sense once you do. Also, Land of Empires was generous enough to sponsor today's video so make sure you give the game a try by clicking the link in the description below sponsors like land of empires help me continue to create the content that you guys know and love so please go ahead and show them some support plus who doesn't love literal fire breathing dragons anyway let's jump right into it okay i've seen a lot of videos on youtube about land of empires and they're talking about the best heroes and armies and pretty much nobody is talking about the titanios they're just being ignored and that's insane because these guys turn your already powerful army into basically super saiyans okay maybe people don't talk about them because they don't really understand them but whatever the reason is today we're gonna talk about it all right so let's break this down really quick there are currently three different titanios in the game and i say currently because back when i played there were only two so we already know that they're gonna be adding new titanios into the game over time the first one is bloodshade a fire breathing dragon the second one is moonbane and the third one the newest one is a flaming hound called nightsaber so we're going to break down each of these titanios and we're going to start with bloodshade because this is most likely the one that a lot of you guys are going to focus on and it's going to be the one that you guys probably unlock first and you're definitely going to want to focus more on bloodshade in the early game and not because he's the best but because he's going to be the easiest to get leveled up here in the beginning now when you first create an account in land of empires there's going to be an event called the welcome ceremony and that seven day event is how you're going to get bloodshade for free so everybody is going to get access to this super cool looking dragon just by logging in by day three you're going to have bloodshade fully unlocked and later in the video we're going to talk about ways to level him up and enhance him but for right now let's just talk about the benefits you get from adding bloodshade to your army the first thing you're going to notice is that adding him to your army instantly gives your troops a stat buff this is important to know because all the different titanios give give different stat buffs depending on what stage they're in so this is going to help you decide which titanio goes and pairs well with your specific army depending on what troops and heroes you're using in that army this is a game of min maxing your benefits okay you want to put the most amount of effort into the things that are already the most powerful if one of your armies has a really powerful infantry hero then adding a titanio that gives you the most beneficial infantry stats is probably going to be the best strategy now for bloodshade specifically you're going to notice that all of the stats that he gives are defense and HP for all three different troop types this means that adding him to any army is instantly going to make that army a little bit more tanky because defense reduces the amount of damage that your army or your troops are taking and health increases the amount of damage you can take before that troop dies now you can enhance bloodshade up through all of these different stages and you can see that as he progresses he looks more and more cool and he becomes more and more powerful and you can see here that the stats when he's in his fully fledged form are 50 percent for everything and then once you go a step beyond that and you unlock his resonance you'll see that bloodshade is actually giving you all different stats for all three troop types so he's giving you attack defense hp and ferocity okay now he's still mainly focused on defense and hp but it's nice to have a little bit of those extra stats for all the troops the second thing you're going to get by adding bloodshade to your army is access to his three different skills now of course he has to have them unlocked the first skill you get is called bloody shock and you can see here that this deals some nice aoe damage to the enemy and it scales all the way from 500 which is what i have now all the way up to 2400 his second skill that you're going to get is called shield of the unyielding which is going to further make your army even more tanky by increasing the defense of all your troops for the first 10 seconds of battle and at max level is 15 percent all defense for everybody and his third skill is a skill called healing ceremony now this is a passive skill for your entire city this increases your city's healing speed and your hospital capacity up to 30 percent 
and 4,000 hospital capacity. That's really important. This is going to be very good. If you're offline and your city ends up getting attacked, you're going to want to have this skill. So basically bloodshade is super tanky and deals really nice AOE damage to the enemy all while being way easier to level up and enhance than the other Titanios we're going to talk about here in the video. So for most players, especially the free to play players, I would focus probably all of your XP in the early game on bloodshade and whether you're free to play new player or a late game well I probably would recommend putting bloodshade in whichever of your armies has your most powerful infantry hero next let's talk about moonbane unlike bloodshade who you can see here is an epic titanio you can tell by the purple text and purple plaque here moonbane is a legendary at the moment this titanio can only be obtained by purchasing the arrival of the young dragon pack in the shop and he's basically blue eyes white dragon on steroids I mean he's actually super sick now if we take a look at what he does you'll notice that unlike bloodshade he's actually giving you a buff to your attack and ferocity for all the different unit types so while bloodshade is all about being tanky moonbane is all about massive damage and guys this is actually his smallest form yeah he actually gets way cooler as you level him up the young adult all oh, looks so good the full-fledged form he just goes golden and then of course you get the resonance now because he's a legendary you're going to notice here that he's actually giving you more stats than bloodshade it's 75 percent for everything and it gets even crazier when you fully unlock his resonance because it becomes 85 percent for everything and you'll notice here that it also includes defense and hp so he retains all of the benefits of his high damage output from his earlier stages and then adds on top of it more tankiness than bloodshade but keep in mind he's going to be extremely hard to get to this point it's going to take a very long time okay it's very difficult even for advanced players so don't worry about encountering this titanio too often at least for now now of course on top of his stats he is also giving you three skills just like bloodshade once they're all unlocked his first skill is called flame of destruction and guys that logo it looks like white lightning okay it's so cool so this also deals massive aoe okay and it also applies a debuff to the target and if we see at the max level he deals over 3000 damage and they take 11 percent extra damage his second skill is called blessing of the titans and this is going to give all of your troops an hp buff upwards of 20 percent for the first 10 seconds of the battle so again hp is what's going to keep your troops in the fight for longer and his third skill swift of the shadow is another passive buff for your city and at max level it's going to increase your troop training speed by 20 percent and your expedition capacity by 2000 so he's all about bringing and training more troops now unlike bloodshade there's also another exclusive feature here for moonbane which is customization you can apply different skins to this titanio and boys hellstream looks so freaking good dude whoever designed him oh my god and look at this the customization is actually insane you can tweak just the little pieces of his wings or his torso to make it look different dude this is so cool and not only that when you have one of these really awesome skins for moonbane they're also going to give him a really nice stat buff as well so in summary moonbane in the early game is all about massive amounts of damage and then once you unlock his resonance he becomes extremely well-rounded and gains more tankiness he's truly the most powerful dragon in the game as of right now and I would recommend that he goes on your strongest army in the early game though if you have options and you have a few of these different Titanios you're gonna want to put him with whichever army has your most powerful Archer hero last but certainly not least we have Knight Saber he is the newest Titanio added to the game and if you don't see him in your kingdom just yet don't worry he shows up around day 60 just like Moonbane this is a legendary titanio and at the time of recording this the only way of obtaining him is by purchasing his pack in the shop called night saber unleashed he reminds me if like the hellhounds from call of duty zombies fused with literally satan himself now in the early stages night saber gives your troop a really interesting array of stats here in the form of hp and ferocity basically what this means is that your troops are going to be harder to kill while also having some really nice burst damage and of course these stats increase as he mutates to his later stages and boys these look so freaking sick. They look so sick. I mean, come on, man. Come on. He looks like he eats the molten core of planets for dinner. And look at this. At his full-fledged form, he gives you 100% of stats for HP and ferocity and 
just like moonbane when you unlock his resonance it also adds in the attack and defense stat now it's lower than the others here now unlike moonbane who was well-rounded in all the stats night saber is still mostly focused on hp and ferocity but it's worth noting that even the stats that he's not focused on are still higher than moonbane's except moonbane has the skin customizations so we'll have to wait and see if that comes to night saber as well but pound for pound i think he is the most powerful titanio in the game right now and with good reason look at him dude look at him but that's only if you can get his resonance which is going to take a very long time and of course on top of his insane stats he's going to give you three skills his first skill is called hellfire burst which is also an aoe skill that damages the target based on the percentage of damage that your army is doing and it applies a debuff to that target as well that increases the damage that they take by five percent for 10 seconds so what this means is that this aoe unlike the others gets more powerful based on how powerful your army is so the stronger the army the more damage this aoe is going to do his second skill lava armor gives you hp upwards of 15 percent when it's max just like moonbane but he also gives you seven and a half percent ferocity for 12 seconds now it's worth noting that moonbane gives you more hp but night saber gives you more stats overall finally his third skill is another passive skill that increases your expedition capacity by 3000 when this is maxed and your rally capacity by 35,000. So he's just going to bring the most amount of troops possible to any battle that you're involved in. And the more troops that you have, the more damage you're going to do. And the more damage that you do, the more damage his AOE does. So essentially, Night Saber is going to give your troops great survivability while also giving you a ton of burst damage. And at the end game, he is truly going to be the nightmare that he looks like he is because he gives more stats than any other Titanio in the game right now. My recommendation is that he goes on whatever arm me you're going to be leading your rallies with so once you unlock a titanio you're going to notice that you can level them up to make them stronger you can use items such as the primitive bird eggs the juicy lambs or the secret flame roast to give exp to the titanios which will increase their level and you can only enhance the titanios once they reach certain levels so let's use bloodshade as an example for this okay as you can see I've already gotten him to level 10 and now I can advance him which will increase the level cap to 20 and change him from a whelp 1 to a whelp 2 so also gives him more stats for bloodshade you can get these specific items that you need to enhance him from the welcome ceremony event that we talked about before but you can also get them from the demon lair out here in the open field fields and also by rallying hell watchers now just as a side note defeating the demons lair in the open field is also how you're going to get the exp items for your titanios and there's a limit to how many of these you can do every single day so it's going to be important to use all of your attack attempts every single day so that way you don't fall behind here on top of that by defeating these guys every day you're going to gain progress in the grand awakening event you can find this event at the shrine of the titans over here and it's basically like a battle pass system that has a free tier and two purchase tiers where you can start start to get items that you're going to need in order to enhance your titanios even the ones that you have to pay for like moonbane you get this for free all right so let's actually go in here and we're going to advance our bloodshade so now he goes from whelp one to whelp two and boom we get the level cap increase the power and stat increase here as well he actually looks the same except now you can see that i could actually feed him some of the xp items and his level goes up it looks like by two every single time now if you get bored of clicking this button you can just feed all basically once you get him all the way up to whelp five you can mutate him then into a juvenile one and that is when these titanios start to change their form and look even more badass and be even more powerful you'll also notice that it unlocks his second skill and then when he he's a sub adult you unlock his third skill now this applies for all the titanios not just bloodshade let's go ahead and uh enhance our moonbane as well you can see I already had him at a whelp two so now we're gonna go ahead and do whelp three so there he goes let's just give him a ton of experience the secret flame roast here oh my god we're shooting up in levels real quick let's go ahead and do a whelp four and boom there we go his level cap has been increased and there he is he is at level 50 we can tap the mark and we can now evolve our moonbane and let's see ladies and gentlemen what is going on here there he is boys oh my god he looks so good dude juvenile one the power went up crazy now I was able to upgrade his skill level from two all the way up to six here for both of the skills the second one that I just unlocked 
and you do need to use specific items to do this as well and the amount of level that these skills can be is capped to how many times you've advanced him all right night saber it's time for you to evolve into your juvenile form and there he is dude the the flaming skulls do it for me man that just looks so cool all right ladies and gentlemen hopefully now you understand the importance of the titanios and pairing them with the right army and why investing all in on just one of these titanios could make a huge difference for you in the late game i want to thank land of empires again for sponsoring today's video don't forget to download and try the game out with the link in the description below after all the game is completely free and you did just watch an entire video about it while you're down there Make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video if you want to see more land of empires content subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a land of empires video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace